Welcome to Pinery Provincial Park. This park is located in Grand Bend, Ontario and is popular for birding, boating, hiking, biking, canoeing, kayaking and their 10 kilometers of beautiful sandy beaches located on the shores of Lake Huron. Whatever you're looking for, this park has it and I'm going to share our total experience of our five day camping trip here and what this park has to offer. Let's go! We've made it to Pinery Provincial Park. This is our second camping trip of the season and it took us just over three hours to get from where we live to near Grand Bend, Ontario where the Pinery is located. We're just filling up with water right now and I was taking a look at the map and this Provincial Park is massive. There are so many trails, you can rent canoes and kayaks, they have a big park store and lots of programming as well. So compared to our Provincial Park stay last weekend, this one is going to be much much different and I'm glad we have some extra days to spend here. Before I jump into this video though, if you haven't checked out my review from last weekend at McRae Point Provincial Park, I've linked to that video somewhere on the screen and in the description below. There are actually two dumping stations here at the Pinery and we didn't know which one to choose so we just went to the one closest to our campsite. It didn't say that there was a water fill up on the map though but rest assured if you don't see it and you're wondering where it is, it is at the dumping station just past where you dump and there is potable water. The hose is threaded, the pressure is good, big thumbs up for me. At the dumping station here, the hose is threaded, so if you are looking to do a flush out on your tank, you can do it here. And there's also a garbage, which is convenient. You can also purchase firewood down here by this dump station near Riverside. It's not open right now, but apparently it will be open on the weekend. Our site is all set up now. It took us a little bit longer because we assembled pretty much everything this time. I'll give you a quick tour to show you what it's like. So as you can see, as we walk in, we've parked our trailer on the far side. We haven't really positioned the chairs where we want them yet. And I was joking that this is the timeout chair because it's facing nothing right now. But basically we've got our picnic table here under our dining tent and over here around the corner, is where the fire pit is so I really like that it's kind of secluded over here and in its own little corner and farther away from the trailer. Riverside Campground has sites 384 to 859. 84 of these are non-electric and the rest are electric. The sites are spread out over four campground areas and each of the areas has a full comfort station. Plus in this area you will also find the roofed accommodations which include yurts and cabins. Campground 1 in the Riverside area has all electrical sites and they even have some roofed accommodations that I'll give you a quick look at. There is a small comfort station right near our campsite just down the road and it is flush toilets and there's a nice sink so thumbs up to that. In campground 2 the comfort station has 7 showers and washrooms for men and women and the washrooms are very clean and nicely lit up so I definitely give this comfort station 2 thumbs up. There's also laundry at this comfort station in campground too. The washer is in working order and it's $3 a load, but unfortunately the dryer is out of order.
The Dunes Campground has sites 1 to 299. There are 135 electric sites and 164 are non-electric. Their campgrounds are spread out over four camping areas and each of the areas has its own comfort station with showers, flush toilets, and laundry facilities. Dunes Campground also has access to the Dunes Beach, which is usable by anyone who's staying in one of the campgrounds. And there's quite a lot of parking down here at the Dunes Beach if you do want to drive here. There's bike racks at the entrance as well, and there's also a comfort station. Burley Campground is divided into the East and West Campgrounds. Burley West has sites 900 to 1060 and Burley East has sites 1062 to 1203. All sites in this campground are non-electric. Burley Campground also has their own beach area and there's a lookout point in the parking lot we're going to check out. Surprisingly, the washrooms down here at the Burley Beach area are actually plumbed, so there's flush toilets and running water. And they're really clean. We just checked out two of the comfort stations that were new, nice, and clean, and we're going to see what some of the other ones look like on the other side because they looked a little bit older when we drove by originally. As suspected from the outside, these are a bit older of a comfort station. There's flush toilets inside with sinks, but they don't have showers here, and they're not as nice as the newer ones, but they are very clean. The Pinery also has a really nice park store with lots of things inside that you can buy so if you forget something at home you can probably find it here. I had to stop and get my park sticker and while I was inside I also noticed that they have a little restaurant. Right across from the park store is where you can go and get freshly scooped ice cream. I think the sign said it was $6 for a single scoop. And right beside it is where you can rent canoes, kayaks, and bikes. And the prices are actually quite reasonable. <laughs> Plus they have the easy launch that helps you get in and out of the water in your kayak without falling out. Pinery also has a really nice outdoor theater with a stage and just across from it they even have washrooms and it's located on an accessible path. The visitor center here at Pinery is really great. There's tons of information about the Pinery and the natural landscapes here and animals as well. So if you have kids or even if you're just an adult who wants to learn more about the area, definitely add the visitor center to your itinerary while you're here. If you enjoy fishing and you're coming to Pinery, there are tons of spots where you can go fishing. They have docks built right along the Ostable Channel, and we're on one right now. There's people fishing just across the way. So fishing is a popular activity that you can do here at Pinery. Today we're starting our tour in the day use area, which is located quite far from the Riverside Campground. So we are driving it. And this park is quite large and spread out, so if you do have bikes, this would be a great park to bring them to so that you can easily get from destination to destination, or you can just drive like we are, or if you're feeling even more adventurous, you can walk. It's about eight kilometers to get to the day use section, according to the sign, and it's a bit of a bumpy road. Pinery offers 10 different hiking trails and one bicycle trail with over 16 kilometers of hiking and a 12.7 kilometer dedicated biking trail. I really like the signs here for all of the hiking trails because it indicates 
how long it is, if dogs are permitted, if there's a lookout, bikes aren't permitted on this trail, and don't touch the flowers. There are nine total parking lots in the day use area and there is plenty of parking, but as you can see today, it's not very busy, so we could park wherever we want. I think it looks exactly like the ocean. Like, I feel like I'm somewhere in the Caribbean right now. If you're camping with your dog and want to bring them down to the beach, you can take them to the day use area and park at P1 or P2, and they can enjoy the beach as long as they're on their leash. Each of the parking lots down in the day use area also has their own set of washrooms. There are flush vault toilets, however the one I went into did not have the flush feature, and a hand washing station. Down in parking lot number 9 there is also a large picnic shelter and tons of picnic tables. Pinery also has three areas for group camping with a total of 10 group camping sites. We are on day three here at the Pinery and last night it was very rainy. We didn't even get to have a fire because it started raining around dinner time. So today we thought since it's so muddy here, we're gonna head into town and see what we can get up to in Grand Bend. We started the day at the beach area, followed by exploring the main street shops and dining options. Then we made our way to a beautiful winery and followed that by sharing a flight at a local brewery. Stay tuned because I'll be sharing a full video on things to do in Grand Bend coming soon. We spent the day touring Grand Bend and Port Franks and the weather isn't really cooperating with us now but it's only lightly raining so we thought it would be a great time to go out and do a trail. We are going to do the Riverside Trail which is a one kilometer fairly easy trail and hopefully it has some lovely views of the river. One thing to note when doing this trail specifically, it does have a note at the front of the trail that mentions poison ivy. So I would recommend staying exactly on the trail and not venturing off because there's poison ivy all through this area. And even after Googling what poison ivy looks like numerous times, I still don't remember. So I think it's the three leaves that are like ivy shaped leaves or with a little bit of a jagged edge. Sometimes they can have a little bit of reddish to them apparently. So basically anything that's green and in three leaves, I just stay away from because I do not want poison ivy. But this area and our campsite as well is supposedly full of poison ivy. So just beware if you're on this trail and make sure that you pay attention to your campsite warnings as well. When they say Riverside, they really do mean Riverside with this particular trail because the boardwalk goes right out over the river and alongside it so you do get some excellent river views. There's a beaver swimming behind me right now. I don't know if you can see it, but it's right back here. <laughs> this is the first beaver I've seen in all of our camping experiences last year or this year and I'm so excited because I always want to see wildlife and there's a beaver. We just finished the Riverside Trail and I will sum it up in a few statements. Accessible, easy to do, we saw a beaver. So hope you enjoy this trail if you're coming to Pinery. Now we're about to start the Hickory Trail. It's a 0.9 kilometer trail. There are some stairs but it looks otherwise pretty accessible. Dogs are permitted on this trail but bikes are not. If you're trying to choose between the Riverside Trail or Hickory Trail, I think I would recommend the Riverside Trail because it does have that nice boardwalk area. There's no stairs and it's much more accessible. Plus it offers much better views of the river. Whereas here, once the foliage fills in in the summer, you probably won't have great river views for the majority of the trail. Well, we have had quite the day. It has been very long. We've done a lot of sightseeing and done a few trails as well. So now we've gone back to our campsite and we're just sitting around our fire enjoying a quiet night. 
although it's not too quiet because there are tons of kids here on the long weekend and they are having quite a good time howling and screaming and riding their bikes around this campground area. So we're gonna just chill here and call it a night. Well, it's coming to the end of our camping trip here at Pinery and it's time for me to share what I liked and didn't like about this park. First, let's start with what I didn't like about this park. And the first thing on that list are the dumping and water filling stations. They're not very convenient because if you want to dump or fill your water tank, you have to wait for the person in front of you to finish. You can't get around. And because the water filling station is after the dumping, if someone's just getting water and you've just finished dumping your tank, you can't get around them to leave. You have to wait until they're done. So I think they could have added like a bypass lane or something to make it a little bit more convenient. So that's the first thing I didn't like about this park. And the other minor dislike that I have about this park is that in the Riverside Campground area, you can hear some road noise. So if you're looking for a very quiet, peaceful experience, maybe avoid the Riverside Campground because you do hear some cars. And now for the things that I liked about this park. There are just so many, I'm really trying to narrow it down. The first one is the beach. The beach here is absolutely amazing. I would say come here instead of going to Grand Bend because it's more private and I think it's just like a more peaceful beach experience here. The next thing is how many trails they have. They have 10 trails plus a bike trail and there's even a little path along the river. So there's so many different trails that you can take. You would probably need to be here longer than a weekend to do them all. I also like that there's a lake and a river here so you can get waterfront views pretty much no matter where you are in the park. They also have an amazing visitor center and I recommend checking that out if you're coming here because it is so informative and interactive if you have kids and it's even pretty interactive for adults as well. And another thing I really liked about this park was the cleanliness of the comfort stations and the fact that the majority of them seemed very new. We thought that they were kept very clean throughout our entire stay and even the vault toilets that had to flush throughout the park were quite clean and didn't smell either. And the last thing I really liked about Pinery was the proximity to Grand Bend. Grand Bend, Ontario is a popular tourist destination in the summer months mainly because they have a beautiful beach area, tons of shopping and restaurants. So if you want to just hop into town, it's not too far away. Overall, we had a fantastic camping experience here at Pinery Provincial Park and I think we were both blown away by what this park has to offer. It's definitely made it to my top five parks, so if you haven't come to Pinery yet, add it to your list because this park is amazing. And just like that, our long weekend here at the Pinery has come to an end. Well, I hope you enjoyed seeing around Pinery Provincial Park and what this park has to offer. If you like camping videos, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming Provincial Park reviews. And as always, if you like this video, don't forget to leave a like. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.